y'all want the tea? <laughs> Still tea. What y'all want to know? Hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And it looks like Sydney Starr has decided to clap back at the original Amaya Scott. Oh, yes. Sydney said that when she said what she said, she wasn't trying to throw subliminals at Amaya. She said she was just saying they were the only two out at that time. And whose name did you hear more? Now, in this instance, after she said that, I did cover this in a video. If you guys have not seen it, the video of me talking about the original situation is on the channel. Like this video, subscribe if you are new, thumbs up the video. So basically, she was saying the reaction that Amaya gave was so out of the way. She said that's how she must have really felt about her even during our friendship time. So you heard from me, but let's see what Sydney got to say. Yeah, because I'm letting it be known. I have respect for her. We worked on a major television show together, Star. So let me say this. When the girls would talk about the trans girls, you really just heard about my name, Sydney Star, or Amaya Scott. And I said, right. I never said it's me or Amaya Scott. I never said I came out first. Woo, woo, woo. It really doesn't matter. But what I don't appreciate is how she went to Twitter and just talked all this mad about me, woo-woo this, woo-woo that. Baby girl, that must mean how you really feel about me. In that case, we can go there. <laughs> Honestly, because you know I'm with, I'm a reality TV girl. Come over to my world, yeah? I get it, that's not your thing. You're the classy girl. It was a misunderstanding and you took it there and I definitely am very disappointed in you <laughs> because you're not that type of girl to do that. I was trying to give her her flowers. That's all I was doing. I'm done with it. I don't care. Yeah, I didn't say anything wrong. Oh, yeah, at that point, I'm out. I have a lot of respect for her. We worked on a major television show together, Star. So this is some of the sublim, I mean, tweets that were sent out. It says this ain't no indirect sub, so it's not a subliminal. She says she's talking directly to at Sydney Star Dance. Keep my name out of your mouth. something I didn't notice in this original video. So I get what Sydney is saying. I do get it. I want y'all to know that. But it's the verbiage. I think if she just would have said, who did you hear? Sydney Star and Amaya Scott. But she said, or. So it was the verbiage. Now, was Sydney necessarily being messy and salacious? Possibly not. But it did come across that way. It, and it's just one word. If it just would have been and instead of or, I think it would have went a little differently. Do I think the cattiness of what T-Girl came first? It's a mess. It's so many of, you know, everyone coming up at this time. You don't really need to say who came first or who was that girl. And it's actually a lot of situations going on like that. Uh-huh. Where it's like everyone wants to say who came first or who's that girl versus, you see what I'm saying? Other people right now. But y'all heard from me. I, I do think it was a slip of the tongue. But I think in the slippage, you know, Amaya let it be known how she really feel about the original star. But y'all, let's jump in these comments. And of course, I want to hear what y'all think as well. But let's see what these comments Okay, someone said, okay, this time I have to agree with Sydney. She was saying y'all only heard about her and Amaya, not agreeing with the statement. Clearly, Amaya took it out of context. I really do think it was the, the word and or or. If y'all peeped that, I didn't even peep that in my original recap of this. Somebody said, for once, I'm agreeing with Sydney because she didn't say anything bad about Amaya. Somebody said, wait. If Sydney was boasting about herself and brought up Amaya to the situation to be the only other one doing it like her, that's flowers. So why are they so mad? Period. Somebody said, I don't like Sydney, but she didn't say anything wrong. The other girl just wants attention right now. Ooh. Somebody said, y'all queens need to chill out. Oh, wow. So we're going to do two more, y'all. Somebody else said, at the end of the day, 
y'all on two separate paths people are so mean y'all they say oh sorry at the end of the day y'all on two separate paths amaya has been on vogue tv shows movie awards ceremony and has won numerous of awards and she's a bomb model and miss star well it's more like a reality star she's been a couple of parts in a movie her only fans is lit. Hey, at least they supporting her, y'all. So said, she said, the moral of the story, nobody brings y'all name up in the same sentence. Now, that's power. I know I said we got to read two more, but I want to talk about that. Yes, the only comparison being made is that they're both T-girls. You know what I'm saying? They're both transgender. Do people necessarily bring them up in the same conversations? Typically not, if it's not, you know, that they both trans. Yes, they both did appear on Star. I covered that in my video. They were besties on screen. So this kind of was a shock to the community. You see what I'm saying? But like this person saying, their names really don't cross paths. And even Sydney said that in her video. She said, you're the classy girl. You know, the elegant one, the refined one. You know, Sydney's more of the party girl. Let's turn up. Let's get drunk. Let's turn up. Somebody get drunk. Hey, get the bottle. Pop a bottle. Pop a bottle. That's more Sydney versus Amaya. You know, she's more subtle and, you know, you, you know, more reserved. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of get what that comment is saying. We're we going to do two more. Them. One more, two more. Let's do two more. Somebody said, why is the tweet blurred out? <laughs> they said it's not even any cuss words. That's true. I was wondering why they blur all that out. All right, one more, y'all. Somebody said, I dislike her so bad. They said, um, the woman has to lie and ruin someone's career. It's pathetic. Oh, they talking about Chingy. Uh, ain't nobody focused on a piece of change. Ain't nobody focused on no change. But y'all, I do want to get your opinion on this. Um, I mean, when it comes to, you know, a transgender girl being on the scene, who do y'all really think is that girl? You see what I'm saying? I don't think it's one girl. I think it's one for all the girls to come up, period. I'm on to come up, period. So all the girls can come up, period. Um, I don't think it's one. As far as two different lanes, I do agree with that. And I also think it goes back to verbiage. It was a slip of the tongue. Let's listen to it again. It's, it's kind of like a slip of rule of the tongue of rule. If she just would have said and instead of or, I don't think this would have went down. But let's check it out again. about my name, Sydney Star, or Amaya Scott. And I said, right. I never said, it's me or Amaya Scott. I never said, I came out first. Woo, woo, woo. It really doesn't matter. But what I don't appreciate is how she went to Twitter and just talked all this mad about me. Woo, woo, this, woo, woo, that. Baby girl, that must mean how you really feel about me. In that case, we can go there. <laughs> Honestly, because you know I'm, with, I'm a reality TV girl. Come over to my world, yeah? I get it. That's not your thing. You're the classy girl. It was a misunderstanding, and you took it there, and I definitely am very disappointed in you. Uh, Y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. Do the best you can with what you got. Do I think the beef is that serious? No. I'm sure it's a way all of them could get work. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember back in the day, it used to be magazines in the market like Double XL and King. That's what I could see Sydney on. And then, like, the person said with well, Amaya, maybe you could see her on Essence or, um, you know, People Magazine or something like that. So, it's kind of like giving two different lanes. I don't see it, but the thing is, we're just observers. It may be a deeper situation here that actually led up to this whole thing. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Stay locked to the channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do the best I can with what I got, and I want you to do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Video. 